Lastly, we have here determining the equation of the parabola given the vertex at 2, 3, and of course your focus at 2, 5. Okay, if you're going to plot or graph these uh, coordinates to see the relationship of the given vertex and the focus, okay, we have here, um, of course, the Cartesian plane. We are going to plot the vertex. Okay. So as you notice, we have here the vertex at 2, 3, 1, 2 units to the right, then 3 units upward, 1, 2, 3, there you have the vertex, and of course your focus, 1, 2, and then 2 units to the right, and 5 units upward, there you have also. Okay, so uh, after we have uh, plot or graph your coordinates, uh, we are going to um, evaluate, okay, if this is the vertex and that is the focus, how will you synthesize is that? Okay, we synthesize the opening of your parabola. Okay, your opening of your parabola is said to be opens to what? If this is the vertex, that is the focus. Yes, it opens upward. Opens, the opening therefore is upward. Okay, now that the opening of your parabola is said to be upward. Okay. Considering from our standard form, we have already the vertex, what standard form are we going to use? Yes, we are going to use this quantity x minus h square equals 4p quantity y minus k. Okay, this is now our standard form and all we need to do because vertex is already given which is 2, 3, it's just a matter of substituting it to our uh, given uh, for standard form. So and that is now what? Okay, so we have quantity x, your h is 2, so we have minus 2 square equals 4p, quantity y, your k now is 3, which is now negative 3. Okay, now after considering this one, the next is your p, your value of our p. Okay, we know that when you see p, it is the distance from the vertex to focus or vertex to directrix but now the given is, is just the focus so meaning what's the distance from vertex to focus so you have it's just a matter of inspection method one two there you have two units so if that is your p which is two units from our 4p okay so 4p okay we all know that the value of your p there is two so four times two which is now eight Okay, so all we need to do this time is simply this 8 is to be substituted to our 4p. So again, we just rewrite quantity x minus 2 square equals 8 quantity y minus 3. And this is now our equation of your parabola given the vertex and the focus.